Hi friends, today we are going to solve fraudulent activity notification problem from the sorting subsections of the interview preparation kit. The given problem statement is Hackerland National Bank has a simple policy of warning clients about possible fraudulent activity. If the amount spent by the client on a particular day is greater than 2x, is greater than the two times of the client medium spendings for the the preceding days then uh, the, the, uh, one of the fraudulent notification would be triggered else there no fraudulent uh, notification would be triggered this is a very simple problem although the time complexity of this problem is kind of complicated that's why it's one of the hardest problem in according to my opinion in this entire series so if you look at it you just have to find the medium from an D preceding days from the current date and after that you will have to find the medium of it and have to check whether that if we multiply it by 2 into that client's medium is if it's smaller if the current spending is greater than that medium means 2 into that medium then a fraudulent message is triggered else nothing happens so is there are multiple ways of doing it so one of the simplest way would be to write the code and run it i think you know this simple process of sorting this and to find the medium if it's an odd then just take the middle element if it's an even number then take two of the middle elements find the average in this way to do work but in this case it's kind of complicated just because it's uh so here it yeah, means the time complexity of this problem is going to be huge. So to, to work on that, you have to find a better way of solving this solution. So to do this, there, are, there could be multiple ways of doing it, but Python offers a wonderful library like Hipshot. One of them is called Bisect. So Bisect ensures that whenever elements are appending to an array, Bisect would automatically sort that array so it does it in very less time complexity even lesser than merge short so this is something which you need to take care of now let's look at the problem so first we need to do create an array and in that array would be initializing with a value of from first to the number of days so those would be the preceding days so in those preceding days nothing gets triggered but only after that the preceding days something would get triggered so this is our array and we will be sorting it sorted now for each in D2 length of expenditure. So reason for doing it from D2 length of expenditure and if you look at it, the sorted value. So if you know the slicing and dicing, so it will take from 0 to D minus 1 is the element. So when you are writing D, so it means excluding the D. And in this range application, in this range, it will start from D to the length of the expenditure array but as it's zero based indexing so it would be length minus one in reality so those are the things i think these are very common python concepts that you should know so once you have done that we need to in first we need to find the medium of it so to do that if if length okay if d percentage equal to equal to zero then temp temporary or sell it's a medium
so as i said if it's an even value then you have to take the average of the two most middlemost element so in this case it will be divided by two else medium would be expenditure dw oops do not be expenditure to be array so now the important part oh and here we also initialize we have to initialize a variable called count variable will be initializing with zero so basically count variable would have a count of how many notification or client notification of potential fraud have been triggered so count plus equal to the so first you need to check if medium into two less than equal to current expenditure so expenditure of ith index then a fraudulent message has been triggered so count plus equal to one and after this has been done our job is to first delete an element from our current array so to do that bisect so normal way of doing remove would work but it takes some time so just to remove or just to increase the efficiency we would be using array bisect dot bisect left array comma and at last would be appending a value so bisect dot insert array dot expenditure dot i very simple process so if you have the time i would ask you to go and refer the bisect module i think that would be really really helpful for you to understand the entire reason of doing using bisect module and not to use something else because if some module is already present so there is always you should always apply it to reduce your complexity and so many other things so i've seen many examples but none of them used bisect module which are strange maybe they didn't know about it so it could be of anything so let's let's check that okay I made a mistake it would be i minus d i think doing this it further reduce the complexity so this is very very interesting way of solving this problem according to me so as you could see we are able to successfully solve this problem so this was one of the most typical problem but just using the bisect module it reduces our complexity and we have been able to solve this problem in less than 12 or 13 lines of code i think that's an that's a great effort so but i would always keep on reminding so if you have a better way of solving the same problem with a better solution then feel free to comment below or maybe share your notebook links or maybe github links that would be really helpful for anybody in the community to who could go and refer to those and as always i keep on reminding thanks for watching and stay tuned there are more videos to come.